Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com and I am here today with a tutorial on how to boot up and get your Raspberry Pi Zero Model W up and running. Okay, if you watched my earlier res uh, uh, review of the Pi Zero Model W, you know that I'm very excited about using this to make some really cool projects, things that are portable things that are small and will fit, fit in your pocket and allow you to walk around and use them. And, and because of that, I'm not really interested in hooking this thing up to a keyboard or to a screen or something like that. I want to putty into it uh, with SSH and operate it remotely like that. So I really want to go headless with it. So what I'm going to show you in the tutorial today is the simplest way possible to get up and running on the Raspberry Pi Zero, okay, Model W. Now, I will say that you do have to have a couple of things besides just the Pi Zero. You can't do it without any adapters at all. Good news is, if you will look in the description of this YouTube video, I have a link to my toptechboy.com web page that has a link that allows you to get the minimum things that you need to get this up and running. I'm going to assume that you have some things. I'm going to assume that you have a power, a uh, micro USB power cord for something like your phone, just something that you could power it up with, and I'm going to assume that you have an SD card. Okay, now what I will say is, is that I am also going to assume that you've worked with the Raspberry Pi before, so if you do not, if you have not worked with the Raspberry Pi before, I would not suggest starting with the Model Zero W. I would suggest starting with the Raspberry Pi Model 2 or Model 3. So if you haven't done that yet, go back to my earlier videos about uh, how to download the operating system and how to get a bootable Raspberry Pi. I'm not going to go over that today. I'm going to assume that you already know that. Okay. Now, besides the Raspberry Pi and the SD card with the operating system on it, what you are going to need is you are going to need two additional cables. You're going to need this what's called on-the-go cable. And this will go to the... I am going to get out of your way here. Boom. Okay. You're going to need this little cable that goes from the Raspberry Pi micro USB to a standard USB output. And then you do, to get the IP address, you've got to be able to see it. So you've got to connect up to an HDMI cable. The, the normal HDMI cable will not plug into the Pi, so you need this simple little adapter that will go from the Raspberry Pi HDMI out to a standard HDMI cable. Again, toptechboy.com, link below. I'll give you the cheapest place that I found to these supplies. But let's go ahead and see if we can get this hooked up. And so we're going to plug. I'm going to see if you can see there. We're going to plug the HDMI adapter in. Uh, I'm going to plug the on-the-go cable in. And guys, this is real, real important, okay? This is real, real important. These two are not the same. This is for power. This is for power, and this is the actual USB data uh, plug. So you need to plug power in here, and then your keyboard or anything else you need to plug in here. Now, if all you want is just to get the IP address, you could just start by plugging the mouse in here and then clicking on the window that I'm going to show you in a minute. And then when you need to type, unplug the mouse and plug a keyboard in. And then you can do the ifconfig command and uh, ifconfig command and you can get your IP address. Uh, if you happen to have one of these four port USB hubs around, I have one so I'm going to use it. It right here comes in and will plug in okay here and then I can have a keyboard and a mouse at, at the same time but if you don't have one of these four port hub exp, exp, uh, expanders just switch back and forth between the keyboard and the mouse because you're only going to have to do it like once or twice okay now I'm going to plug my monitor in okay get that plugged in good and now I'm going to plug the the uh, SD card in. And again, I've already put the operating system on this HD card, I mean on this SD card from another uh, Raspberry Pi. Got it all connected. I'm going to see if I can tape my cables down here so this thing won't be wandering around on us. That looks pretty good. Does that look pretty good? Yeah. Okay. All right. 
and then I will tape this other one down just because I hate these things wandering around as we are doing the video okay that looks down pretty good and then I will move this just a little bit that way so you can see it okay that looks pretty good now we are going to be ready to bring power in okay and what we hope is we hope when we bring the power in we hope to see a little happy green blinking light okay so let's see if we can do that and then what I'll do is I'll try to switch over and get a screen capture the other thing is I do need to plug my uh, port expander into the on-the-go cable like I told you I was going to do boom okay so now we have everything but power I'm gonna do that and then to sort of show you what happens if we get a little green light here then I'll switch over best I can do is point a webcam at the uh, screen that the Raspberry Pi is hooked to and I can't do screen capture on both systems at the same time so here we go let's see if we get a happy little green light okay waiting for the green light let's see if I got it plugged in there it is okay I believe I got it there oh yeah and then if we look here it looks like that this is going to boot up okay so this is the webcam pointing at the Raspberry Pi screen so that's a good sign that it looks like it's booting it is not focused I'll see if I can give it a piece of paper or something here to focus on a little bit okay that looks a little bit better don't worry that you can't really read the screen very well because I'm going to be telling you there's only just a couple of things that I'm going to be typing in here to get this up and running and so go to toptechboy.com in the link below this video in the description click on that link and it will give you a link that you can get uh, get this gear if you don't already uh, if you don't already have it okay this is taking a second to boot but no worries I am confident that it is going to boot and I am confident because I have this happy little green light down here and it's uh, going to town and so I am really sure that this thing is gonna this thing is gonna boot as you probably can imagine the Pi Zero does not boot as fast as uh, as fast as the Pi 3 but we will be patient here okay so again what we are trying to do now is we are trying to get the IP address of the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero all right it looks like I'm seeing some signs of life over there I do believe in fact that it is booted and if you look up here this is your Wi-Fi in the upper right hopefully you can see that and then what does it say okay it says that it's not on so I'm going to say turn on Wi-Fi okay and then oh look I got the little happy Wi-Fi signal now I've got to connect to something okay so I'm going to connect to the botnet okay that's a local that I have here do you want to disconnect from, uh, well, I'll say, okay. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me try that again. Botnet uh, wants my password. And for all the world to see, if you ever want to hack on to Botnet here, you are, you got a great start at it there. Okay, so I now have... A connection to my Wi-Fi okay so Wi-Fi on the Raspberry Pi is turned on okay the Raspberry Pi is booted and the Raspberry Pi Wi-Fi is tied on to my local network here now to do anything cool what I need to know is I need to know what the IP address let me go back over to this other camera I need to know what the IP address of my Raspberry Pi is and then once I know that then I'm gonna switch over and I'm gonna connect by putty or SSH okay so let's look and see how we're gonna do that what you wanna do is you just wanna get a terminal window okay and uh, I will tell you because you might not be able to see I'm gonna say if config if config and put that and then what you can see is you can see the different way the different ways that you could connect. You've got a US you could connect to the to the uh, Ethernet by USB. But what we want is this WLAN zero, WLAN zero, and then I want to look for the IP address. Okay, 
And what this says is my IP address is 10.1.15.37. Okay, so that is the IP address that my Wi-Fi router has assigned to uh, this Raspberry Pi Zero. Now, if you are at home, you can log on to your Wi-Fi router and you can reserve this IP address for this device. So every time that you come in, it's going to be the same. Now, all routers are different, so you're going to have to figure out how to do that. Reserve an IP address for something. You'll have to go through your router manual for that. If you're at work uh, where I am here, I would go see my network administrator and then tell him to reserve that IP address to uh, this device because you don't want to have to reconnect every time you power off and power back on to get the IP address. You want an IP address assigned to this okay well I've got an IP address now so I am very uh, very happy so I can go ahead back to this other window here with a little bit of luck uh, oh, mouse okay anytime you're using two mice and keyboards it gets a little confusing okay so now we have the Raspberry Pi Model Zero booted we have got the Wi-Fi turned on and we've got a Wi-Fi connection to it alright so now what we want to do is we want to see if we can com connect uh, remotely to this okay and so I will bring up my putty okay and uh, go back I have you know just it's very easy to download putty if you don't have it it's very easy to download and if you don't know how to do it just Google download putty and then if you still don't know go back and look at one of my earlier videos okay so let's uh, uh, come over here to this uh, there's my lovely wife uh, in uh, in Africa okay so what I want to do now is I want to putty in so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna go uh, 10.1.15.37 and that is the IP address that we just figured out and it hasn't seen this before so it's giving me a warning yeah okay I'm okay with this I trust this device and now it's asking me to log in so I'm gonna say pi and then probably didn't get that right uh, Okay, boom. So look at where we are now. We have met our objectives. The Raspberry Pi Zero is booted. The Wi-Fi is turned on. It is connected to my local network. I went away. I reserved that IP address for this device, and now I have puttied in or I have SSH'd in. And so, guys, that's where we needed to get for today's video. Tune in to the next video that I have that will be coming up very shortly on the Raspberry Pi Zero Model W, and I'm going to show you how to make a really cool wireless internet camera, an IP camera, okay, and that's going to be kind of like a first example of what you can do with this thing. All right, guys, really appreciate your attention, appreciate you, uh, you guys tuning in. What I hope is I hope that you'll leave some comments down below. I hope that maybe you'll think about giving me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel maybe share this with other people because we're going to have some really exciting projects coming down the pike on the raspberry pi zero model w paul mcquarter with toptechboy.com we will talk to you guys later